Show that pink cushion. Yeah, stand up in that thing like on Frank Lucas. Big booty. Show that pink cushion. Yeah, stand up in that thing like on Frank Lucas. She said I'm a dog. Bitch, I'm barking on me peachy. That my teacher. to be picking out my hair and doing a story time you know something that happened to me recently that I'm not okay with okay so let me tell you so I know I've been gone I've been gone for a while I know I know it's a lot of shit that's probably didn't happen but I'm back you know I had to take a break from YouTube get my shit together, myself together, because I'm back in a good place, in a nice place, I feel like I got a couple of story times that I can tell y'all, and y'all can relate to, and all this other shit, but let's get to it, this story time, it's a recent story time, something that, you know, I really thought, you know, a nigga can be a nigga, and not act like a bitch, a little bitch, to be exact, like, just keep it a hundred, Keep that shit a buck. You feel me? Like, you know, be be honest. There ain't nothing like honesty. But let's get into the story time. So, I was dating somebody while I was on my break from YouTube. It didn't last up in a month and a couple of days. It wasn't even, it wasn't even, you know, it was just a month and a couple of days. It lasted. And, while I, like... Let me tell y'all, we first met at Walmart when I was working there. That was about a year ago. So, this year, recently, um, recently he, not recently, but, like, maybe about four months ago, he came to me. He came to my house, and he, he asked me to be his girlfriend. He literally came to my house, and he was like, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a changed man, the only reason why I didn't give him a chance before is because all he all he was he was a hoe. He probably still is one. I don't really know. Guys, but this is my new Instagram. Please go follow it. Yeah. Not just two thousand and one. Let's get back to the story. You no, know, I don't judge people. Not even judge. Like I, I believe in second and third chances. I do. I believe in them. I believe in them. So, you know, by him, you know, coming to me as a man, telling me all this, you know, I said, why not? I'll give you a chance. So, I gave him a chance, right? Not gonna lie, for the first, like, you know, maybe the first three weeks, it was good. You know, it was a little cute relationship or whatever you would like to call it. It was, you know, it was, it was what it was. It, it was what it was. It was cute or whatever. So, like, and I'm the type of bitch, I'm not a bitch, but I'm a, like, I'm just how I talk, okay? I'm the type of female, I don't go on the internet. I don't, I don't, I don't do internet beef. I don't do that. I don't. Like, I'm the type of bitch who keeps her, who, I keep my shit private. The whole world, or, or the whole, or my whole Snapchat, and I don't know what's going on, and who I'm fucking with, and all this other shit. The main people who will know that are my cousins and my friends. And I don't have many of those. So, it's like, let me, okay, let me, before I get to there, I'm sorry, I'm jumping over the place just because, you know, when I think about it, it just makes me so upset that he would test my character and my integrity. Like, it, it, like, like he would sit there and test, test me like that. Like, for what? You know, like, all I've done or tried to do is be there for you. And this is the thanks I get. You know? So, we chopping up and, like, and, like, he, I started seeing red flags. Like, you know, I get it, you help your boyfriend out, but when he needs help or when your significant other needs help, boyfriend, girlfriend needs help, you know, you try to help him. You try to do the best you can. You know, even though I'm living with my mama, 
and all this other shit, I would help him out. But it was like when, when he's the type of person that if he gets told no or something doesn't go his way, it's World War Three. It's, it, it, it's it's world this is this, this has got to be the most toxic toxicity relationship I have ever been in ever and we didn't last but a month and a couple of days so you really knew that that relationship went shit. Like he started, I feel like he took my kindness for weakness, and he it did like he really did like he took my kindness for weakness. Okay, so when I started seeing it, I started to realize, and no, and let me mind y'all, let me mind y'all. I tried to break up with him before I broke up with him recently. I tried to break up with him before. He's telling me. I'm not, basically, I'm not talking about nothing. I'm not going nowhere. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, cool. You know, I took a back. Whatever. It is what it is. But this second time, like, I'm not going to lie. I believe in second and third chances. But when you start acting like your shoe size and not your fucking age, that's where it becomes a problem. That's where it becomes a fucking issue. Because if you're acting your shoe size, like, come on now. Like, we're grown. You're 23. I'm 20. You're 20 fucking three. Grow a pair. Man up and do what you gotta do. Simple as that. Like, and let me tell y'all. I, I would never. I will never, ever understand how a man can act like more of a bitch than a female. I never understood that. Not to this day. Like I, I, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it like I don't get it like I'm y'all when I'm in a relationship I put my all I put my all in a relationship. You feel me like I put my all so for you to sit up here, like one anybody who know me, they know one thing I'm not is selfish, and I'm and I'm damn sure not low down. Damn sure not. You feel me? I'm I'm definitely like I'm not. So anybody who grew up around me or you know me, you know for a fact that if you need something from Juice, if you need something from Destiny, and she got it. She don't give it to you. But you see, with this particular person, with him, it was like, he just wants a yes, yes, yes all the time. I'm talking about, like, I'm going deep, like, I've learned my lesson, and my eyes are brighter, because out of all the relationships I have, Every one of them have every every one of those relationships has taught me a lesson. This one has taught me the biggest lesson of all. Okay, and it's just like certain things he would say, certain things he would do, or try to sleekly say, try to embarrass me, try to disrespect me, like. I'm done being disrespected by a nigga who don't offer nothing. My nigga, you ain't bringing shit to the table but a few conversations. When you needed something, you came to me. You came to Destiny. You came to Juice when you needed something. But money ain't shit to you? Mm. Confused. A little discombobulated. Money not shit though, right? I'm confused. Like, you needed me. You needed my help. But I'm low down. Trifling. Let's let's make this clear. Let's make this perfectly clear. Let's don't sit here and act like 
I begged you to be with me. Because last time I checked, you were outside. You pulled up in my crib, outside my house, in a backyard, in at the back of the driveway, asking to date me. It wasn't the other way around, hun bun. And it will never be. I started caring about something that only cared for himself. I started to develop feelings for somebody who didn't develop feelings for nobody but himself. If it don't benefit him, it doesn't matter. And you know, that's like the crazy part. came at the end of my driveway asking to date me juice destiny but once i get fed up and shit doesn't go your way you want to call me fat you want to call me low down trifling all over something that's not even yours that's mine you want something that's not yours but I'm trifling. And then you want to pull the sun card. I understand you have a kid and you have to provide. But don't rely on me. To give you what you need. You want something? Go buy it. Go buy it. I will never ever in life. Argue. With a nigga or a bitch about shit that's not theirs. I'm not gonna argue with a bitch on the internet, period. Did I say live? Whatever. I'm not I'm not going to argue with a bitch or a nigga, period. I'm not. Because why would I argue with a nigga? For what? I ain't no point of arguing with nobody. Because my answer is still the same. Don't ever in your life try to take advantage and try to test my character. Don't ever in your life. What you're not going to do is call me low down. What you're not going to do is sit up here and just act like I ain't never did nothing for your punk ass. When you know whenever you call you needed something... I will make a way even if I didn't have a way. You feel me? Be a man. You got a kid? Cool. Don't get me wrong. You're great at what you do. But I am so sorry for the next bitch who falls for your spell. I am just so sorry for them. I am. Because like I said, people, a relationship is 50-50. It's not 80-20. It's 50 fucking 50. If you can't put in 50, you don't need to be in a relationship. And a relationship is not one-sided. So if you think I'm all these fat bitches and low down... Continue to, you know, do you. I'm going to do me. And I'm going to keep going to the top. Because there's niggas out, niggas out there. There's niggas like you. Who make it, for, make it easy. For bitches like me to succeed. So I don't honestly, hun bun. Thank you. Because I could sit here. And talk down, talk dirty about you. I can say some shit, you feel me? I can do that. But it's not going to get me nowhere at the end of the day. It's not. It's not going to help my case. It's not It's not going to. You know? So all I do is wish you good luck. It was a good run while it lasted. But I refuse to be disrespected and mistreated by somebody who don't give a damn about 
nothing but themselves. So, to let you and everybody else know, you are the worst person I have ever and will ever talk to. But for everybody else, um, make sure y'all go subscribe, like, comment, and subscribe on my, on this video, the recent video, because we're back and better, and we're back. So, yeah, so let's get ready for that. And like, I love y'all so much, and thank y'all so much. Make sure y'all like this video, comment, subscribe, and like, turn on the post notification bells, because we're coming back with bangers bigger and better. More story times coming real fucking soon, you feel me? Like... It is coming. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for the y'all. Stay tuned. Love y'all so much. Mm. Big booty. Big show that pink. Show that pink. Yeah. Stand up in yeah. anything. Like on Frank Lucas. Yeah.